heat one of Shannon's Rally Launceston threw up a somewhat surprising top three yesterday, including this young man behind us, Troy Dow. He finished the day in third, which was a spectacular result for him. How good was his performance, Dean? Excellent. He's, he's actually done a really solid job all season, and it's no fluke. I mean, he's been working with Bernie Webb, very experienced co driver the last couple of seasons, so it's all starting to come into play in regards to that. So, a podium position for him on heat one. He'll be uh, pretty fired up for today, I would have thought. And the person who came in in position one, no surprise, Harry Bates and Coral Taylor. Uh, now, different pairing, of course, to what we usually see with co-driver John McCarthy. How was their relationship gelling together yesterday? Oh, at the end of the day, if you're going to have a substitute, what a person to step in. I think Coral, when I spoke to her, was, of course, nervous, but she stepped in. Um, she's really uh, amazed at the cars, how good Harry. Harry's on form, but... Bates and Taylor at the top again. I mean, what, what a legend of our sport Coral is and uh, what a great job to sit, step into that car and it uh, doesn't look like anything's changed, really. It's fantastic to see those names up there again. Yeah. And then in position two, we had Richie Dalton and Dale Moskett. It looked on paper like it was a really good day for them, but Richie wasn't so happy with it at the end of the day, was he? I know, he's hard to please, isn't he? He's now he's getting these podium results, but he's expecting more. I think the difference is the roads are a bit inconsistent and they're hard to pick, and he got caught out a couple of times. That makes you nervous as a driver. If he'd locked all the corners and felt confident, but he had a couple of big high-speed spins, that makes you nervy, particularly uh, you know when you're looking at trying to nail those results and get a good championship standing. Now let's take a look at the day ahead. Today's Sunday. What's in store for the cruise? Six stages again, but shorter day. And of course, we reset those podium results and all the results are locked in for yesterday. So today we start from zero. Six stages, about 90 kilometers. Like I said, they're getting used to it in a rhythm, but the stages are very you know, traditional, same as yesterday in some ways. And of course, we finish with our E-Road Power Stage and more points on the line at the end of the day. Absolutely. Now you can catch the E-Road Power Stage live on 7 Plus from 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. And don't forget that and until then, you can follow all the action on rally.com.au and the ARC social channels.